Okay, you guys, let's get this look started. So I'm starting off with my first all-over transition shade. This is Cream Fresh. It's a single shadow by Motives Cosmetics. So I'm just applying that with a Wet n Wild blending brush. Transition shade, I'm using Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. So I'm applying this to my crease and the upper part of my eye with the exact same Wet n Wild brush. Next, I'm going to go in with Cappuccino by Motives and I'm going to be applying this directly to my crease as the crease transition shade. we've got those transition shades applied I'm gonna go into the charming palette and I'm going to grab this first matte brown shade just to really start building up the transition part of the eye because this is going to be a bolder kind of look so exact same wet and brown wet and wild brush I'm just going to apply that shade all over my crease Next, I'm going to go in with this all over the eye brush and I'm going to grab a deeper, richer chocolate kind of shade. And this is really going to just bring the top of the eye out and make this look a little bit more bold and not so neutral. So I'm going to be applying this to my crease as well. Going back into the palette, I'm going to grab this really pretty matte deep plum kind of shade and I'm going to take a clean blending brush and apply this lower into the crease just to add some depth and dimension to this look. I'm gonna go into my Motives Quad and Light and I'm gonna grab the lightest concealer out of the quad and I'm just going to carve out my crease with this so that we can get ready for the lid shade that we're gonna apply. back into the palette I'm gonna grab this silver yeah that one <laughs> this silver shade and this is going to be the focus of the eye on the lid now looking at it in the pan it most definitely looks like a solid silver color but for some reason when I put it on it looked like it had some kind of bluish green undertones because it definitely did not look silver on my eye but still really really pretty so I just sprayed my brush with some coconut water and then I'm going to apply this all over the lid So this is what we're looking like on the eyes right now. And now I'm just going to go back in per usual with my crease brush and just kind of clean up that line from where the lid shade ends and the transition shade begins to make sure there aren't any harsh lines or anything going on.
Then to add some dimension to the outer corner of the eye, I'm going to grab this dark brown shade here and I'm just going to apply this to my outer V and then I'm going to blend everything together to tie this whole eye look together. Now for liner, I'm going to be using this Ciate London felt tip liner. You guys know I never use felt tip eyeliner, but I'm out of my liquid liner right now. So this was the only one that I had. So it's definitely going to take me a lot longer to do a wing with this one. But yeah, that is what I'm using. So for mascara, I'm going in with the Lash Paradise Mascara, and I'm just applying this all over my lashes. I'm not going to use falsies today, but if you wanted to use falsies, you definitely could. But I'm trying to come through for my non-lash wearers, um, because you guys have been saying that you want to see some tutorials without false lashes. So here we are with that. So this is what the eye look is looking like right now. I did apply the rest of my makeup off camera, but I did feel like it was missing just a little something. So I decided to go back into the palette and grab this really pretty champagne shimmery kind of shade right there. I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye with a pencil brush just to brighten up the inner corner a little bit because I just felt like you know, something was missing. I just needed to add just a little something. And last but not least for lips, I am using the Motives Cosmetics Metallic Lip Paint in the shade Wicked. It's a super pretty matte, well it's a metallic, but I feel like it has more of a matte finish than like a shiny metallic finish. Um, but it's a super super pretty plum shade, definitely coming through with the vampy shades for the fall, yes girl. Yes, so this shade is super, super pretty. It just screams vampy fall to me, and I absolutely love it. Now I'm just going to apply the Motives No More Shine setting spray to mattify the look and make sure that my makeup stays in place, and that is it.